Hello guys, I am back and want to show you what I'm going to do with my ribbon fish that I made in my previous video. If you have not seen that video, um, please look in my video list and it should be the one before this one. I made two of these and what I'm going to do is put them in a shadow box. So what I have prepared already is this background which is a piece of jelly printed paper um, and I just chose a, like a muted kind of background and lighter colors this actually looks darker on camera than it really is it's, it's a more muted background pinkish purplish and I thought that the background looked good with with these and the fish eyes are, are purple and I've also made, created a heart, and I made this out of this um, shipping bag, and I just, what I did was just freehand, like a heart shape here, so I kept this because this is like a really pretty um, hot pink bubble wrap, and then the inside of it is silver, so... I thought I'd keep it, make a journal out of it, something. I'd do something with it. So this is what I've done so far with it. So I took the silver. So there's a pink side, which I really like, but we're doing the silver side because it's more muted and kind of goes with the, the softer background to let the, the fish stand out. So what I've done, cut the heart shape out of the packaging, took some hot glue and hot glued some of these beads these pastel pink beads around the front edge and then on the back I had glued um, some some lace some like light pink lace with some hot glue and just kind of trimmed it up so that it would lay flat as flat as it can and that's going to go in the center while my fish are going to hang from um, the shadow box kind of like kissing fish and what I'm going to use for the shadow box is this, um, this was from the Dollar Tree. Sorry about the glare. This was from the Dollar Tree. I don't think they sell these particular ones anymore, but you could probably find some similar ones. So I'm going to use the inside of, of one of these and I can measure this for you is about eight inches long and sorry for the dark shadows by approximately six inches so like an eight by six box so I, I have two of them so I've already like painted this one so this one is first I just gessoed it because you know it's kind of slick so I put gesso just a one coat of gesso over the top so that paint would adhere to it and then I just painted it with just plain white acrylic paint and it's not perfect I mean I it's just you can see the brush brush strokes and all that but I don't care about the back so my concern is just the front part and then the inside is going to be covered with the piece of jelly paper so we'll put that aside for now and what I want to do is I think I'll just take some tacky glue and glue this heart in the center of the paper really quick I'm going to stand up and see if I can get this to center I'm just going to eyeball it and that looks good to me then what I thought, so I'm just kind of placing these, so they'll be in the center, kind of this, about this low, hanging. We should move that up a little bit. And then I have these like flat, these flat beads here. Again, I apologize for the lighting. This is more, they're more pastel-y pink than they look on camera. 
And I was gonna, let's see, I'll use these for like bubbles that kind of look like little air bubbles going up. So put those in the background. And I'm just gonna place them just randomly. So they're different sizes here. It, it graduates from smaller to larger, kind of like an actual air bubble would do. And I won't use them all. And I'll glue these down. They, they are sticky, but they're not that sticky. So just kind of give the indication of um, the illusion of little air bubbles. And hopefully you didn't hear my stomach growl. Because it did. And I just ate. Mm, let's see. Let's see the large, smaller ones at the bottom, larger ones at the top. And kind of just maybe not perfectly straight, but just a little wavy. So this will be probably just the most time-consuming part of this whole thing so if you want to speed up the video here feel free I'm trying not to make too long of videos here and a piece of hair okay so I think I'll do That's cute. Maybe some up here. Just a random little bubble there. One there. Maybe just another right here. So I will just lift that up and see how that looks. And it doesn't have to be perfectly lined up and these aren't supposed to be I don't know are they sticking they seem to be sticking okay so maybe I won't put you guys through watching me glue this <laughs> I won't put you guys watch to, you know, watching me glue all of these things together I can I can reinforce these later maybe I'll put a couple right here. Okay. So there is that. And I think that is all I want to do. To the background. Let's see. Seems like I need bigger bubbles on the side. Yeah, that's good. There's that. And I'll go ahead and just glue that in here with some tacky glue. And this doesn't have to be like super covered. I'll just dot some glue throughout. lay it in there it's 
there it is. Looks pretty good. You might have to glue these edges down a little bit better. Let's see. Can I get to pull this up? Can I have something thin to reach in there? Get this piece. So there is that. And sorry for blinding you with all the shininess. I, I like shiny. I like shiny and glitter. And actually this um, jelly printed paper it has a little bit of glitter to it. Because I've got some, I think I used some kind of glitter paint there. I had to do a jelly printing session with you guys. So the next thing that I want to do is... I have some of this and I thought that I could maybe make some little plants yeah I'll do that like some kind of like coral and I have my hot glue gun I'll just put a little bit of hot glue on the end just to give it some more dimension We'll set that in there. So that will be I might something's up with this because I am like jumpy on this. Why is that jumpy? Okay, sorry. Um, so let's add some more of these. So this is just scrap um, rope ribbon or jute, rib jute rope or some kind of nautical rope. And I like it. I like how it's frayed on the end. So I'll just, I'm just going to fray this a little bit at the end. Put some hot glue. And just add another piece of like coral or seaweed. Whatever you want to think of it as. And then I'll put some on the other side, the other corner. And every time I look over at my screen, I'm like jumpy and I don't know what is going on with this video, but there must be something running in the background causing this. And I apologize if this happens to you, the end result, jump around. It's really working my nerve, so... Am I out of glue? Oh, I just, mm. Let's see. So there's another. Let's see. Let's, let's see if I can spread that out. 
and I should probably do three on each side. So we'll do so we'll do a shorter one. Two different heights here. Come on, glue. Come on, glue. I'm going to have to grab another glue stick, I think. All right, so we have our three little seaweeds here on this side. And I will add a third one. And let me grab my... Let me grab another stick of glue. Okay. And just one more short one. We'll fray the ends of this, and this one's really short, but that is fine. Wrong side. Gluing it to my finger. Okay. So there is that, and I don't like how that's doing that so all right so now what I have are some of these like pony beads I guess these are called pony beads and they're shaped like hearts so this is like close to the same color as the fish and then I have some pink a nice pastel pink and what I thought I would do is glue the hearts onto this kind of like a kind of like a little flowering coral plant type of deal and this is a really pain in the behind just Stupid glue gun. Oh crap, there's there it went. <sighs> okay. I'll just use some of that. So here's some. So we'll glue a pink one there and okay. So alternate colors. So there's pink heart and a green heart right there so sorry for the shadow I'm always apologizing for that aren't I I've got to figure out a better way to do the lighting in this room maybe if I get um, I think I've said that before too if I get another clip light So we're just continuing with the kind of burning myself. Okay. There's this. So we're getting close to getting getting done where we can put our fish in. Once I get all these glued in. There's these. 
Let's see. I thought I had more. And I don't. I thought I had more of these hearts, but I guess I do not. So this is it's going to be more hearts on one side than the other. I bet I do somewhere. It's a good thing this is a low temp glue gunner. I would be on fire right now because I am not careful. I, let me see if I can find a couple more beads. I just need. Hmm. See if I've got some more pink. There's a pink one. And. There's a green one. Perfect. This is turning out really cute. Is that not cute? Guys, is that not cute? Is that cute or what, guys? Okay, so... Um, I was thinking, which I may not... I think I'll hang my fish first and then see... Actually, I was going to try something out because I wanted to color them a little bit. We'll test this out. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. Come on. Okay. Okay, so what I have is some of this LA Color Shimmering Eyeshadow. on light come on light I'm so sorry it's afternoon it's evening and it's just terrible lighting so I'm going to try this I'm going to color the I'm going to color the tail with some shimmery eyeshadow we'll see this is um LA cover LA color shimmering loose eyeshadow with brush I'm using just a regular paintbrush because the brush that it comes with is pretty stiff. And I got this from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to try to color my fish a little bit. Because I want I wanted the female fish, it's supposed to be male and female, to be pinkish. Yeah, this is very um very light. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a very light shimmer, but you can kind of tell. It's pretty cute. And then we'll do the back. I know no one's going to see the back, but... And I wanted to do the top fin it's not very dark it doesn't show up too well but it's 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 enough so there's the top fin and Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out this lighting. It's driving me crazy. This shadow. Okay. So you can kind of see that. And then we'll try this gold on the other fish. 
So this one will be facing this way. We'll see how the gold turns out. There's not a lot in this bottle. It looks like there's a bunch, but this bottle inside is very narrow. The gold is pretty, but you can barely see it. Still very cute. You probably cannot see that very well at all. A little bit of shimmer. And we'll just put those aside. And we are done with that experiment. The pink shows up better. The pink does show up a little bit better. It's, it's pretty cute. It just gives it a little bit of something. So I'll move this parchment paper out of the way. And I have this ribbon which is also from the Dollar Tree and this is really pretty sheer iridescent rainbow colored ribbon and I thought that it just looked so nice against the uh, the fish I just think it looks so cute with the fish in front of it So the tricky part, so they're going to hang by ribbon, and the tricky part is going to get them lined up just right so that their mouths are, are um, touching. So I'll cut two pieces of the same length, approximately the same length, just enough to kind of reach the bottom. Let's see. That may be too short. Let's try a different piece. Let's see. Cut it better too much and not enough. So let's do... Some of this has glue on it already because I was playing around with this ribbon. Okay. So... They're going to be like this. So I think I'll just go ahead and just glue the ribbon on. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue up here. And try to get the ribbon as even as possible. As far as um, how far apart they are. So that, let's see if that looks. Okay, a little bit of glue there. Just place it right there. And don't glue your finger to the to the box. Okay, so that looks about even. So this ribbon's about the same, kind of lines up the same up against the edge of the the um, this heart because the hearts in the center and now I want my fish just to figure out I guess they don't have to necessarily touch exactly let's see I want well we'll try so I think I need to get them lined up, mm, let's see, glued about right there. Mm, 
And we don't need a lot. Don't glue your finger. Can you tell I'm not experienced with the hot glue? Because. <laughs> There you are. I know that's hard to see you guys because I'm above and my camera is above. So I'll, let's see. So there's that one. I'll, I'll try to move the camera so that you guys can see it when I'm finished. So there's that. And then we have... I'm going to just, let's see, pull, 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 right there. We're not going to be perfect on this here. Just put the glue on the fish first. Okay. And then put the glue on it. Kind of line it up. Ow. One's a little higher than the other. Let's move him down. Maybe can I move you down? There. Sorry guys, that's actually pretty darn close and pretty cute. So I am going to trim. Just trim this. And then I need to glue, I need to add some more glue to the top so that they're not leaning forward. So let me glue the top fin a little bit here because it's kind of top heavy. And let's glue his top fin to the ribbon so that he's not. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. Put a little bit of glue at the top of the fin. Glue it to the ribbon so it doesn't lean forward. And that looks very cute and I will move you so that you can see it. But I don't know if I'm done yet. I think let me try. Okay, I have this like sheer ribbon. Or do I want to put some lace in the front? What do I want to do? How about some yellow lace? Or some more of this pink lace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just approximating here. Let's kind of so we'll do this. Now, do I want to glue it on the inside? Kind of How's that going to sit? I probably need to glue it I still don't know how that's going to stand up if I, maybe if I glue the edge and just kind of set it, we'll try it. We'll just put a little bit, little teeny thing of glue on the very edge of this, a little at a time and carefully set it up like this and 
Sorry, I just hit you guys. Yeah, yeah, that works. That works. And then just on the very edge of the... Whoops, too much glue. Set it on the very edge. I've glue all over my fingers. Okay, let's see. Just, just carefully, carefully, carefully. I don't think I would ever get a glue or a glue gun with any higher temperature than this, or I would be just scarred, scarred for life, guys. Okay. I love this glue though, just love this hot glue because it just sticks like automatically right away. So there is our lace. Is that not cute? However, let's see, that's a little. All right, I'm going to move. I think. I'm done. Maybe. I think so. I think it looks really cute. And I'm going to move you guys like really quick so you can see it while it is hanging. So you can see it sitting up. So hold on just a second and don't be angry. <laughs> Come on. How's this? How? focus and it's not focusing Let's see if I can fix this let me zoom you guys out it's a little better See if I can turn the autofocus on. Here we go. So there it is. It, it, there they are, hanging in a shadow box, kissing angelfish. And I wish you guys could see this in person because it's much cuter because this is some terrible lighting here, but I'll have to figure that out soon for my next video. So I appreciate you guys watching and please, um, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, there'll be more to come. I've got, uh, quite, quite a few more ideas that I'm working on. So Appreciate it, and thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.